so it's devops versus system administrator so what is devops devops is something which is all about releasing one product that is in this particular case software product and uh, you are going to take it from development phase to the production phase and you are going to make sure all the workflow between this development process till the production everything works smoothly and uh, even when end user is accessing the product it is going to work well and all the functionalities related to the product works fine so in the simple terms devops is about that there are so many other definitions which you can already go and look out in the google or chat gpt but the thing is in simple words devops is just about releasing your website or some software product from the development phase till the production level so now the thing is what is system administrator or sysadmin so sysadmin is all about maintaining one software infrastructure and uh, all the operating system and software which is running in Tridate uh, and making sure all the user of that particular operating system or even organization gets all the feature in terms of IT in their day-to-day -day field. So the thing is, system administrator is responsible for administrating the system that is the computer may be locally present on their offices or maybe on cloud they're responsible for making sure that particular computer and software works fine so what is the difference between devops and system administrator when we are talking that both are responsible for managing the infrastructure in one organization the difference is uh, system administrator is more focused on uh, making sure the infrastructure functions as expected for example if some server is not working system administrator is the first person who is going to intervene in it and try to fix it whereas if some product that is when some software is not working that is the software which you are trying to release that is the core software of the company when that is not working the devops personnel will always make sure that it is going to get fixed fast and it is going to work fine so now that you know that what is system administrator and devops uh, engineer now it's time to understand which is best for you the thing is uh, devops takes time to learn and get experience in because you need to know little bit of coding and uh, not much but you need to know little bit of coding that is how does one code will run on one computer maybe your laptop maybe some kind of cloud server so you need to know how does that particular development works meaning you need to know all the software development related things maybe some code which is going to cause some problem in future you should be aware that okay that particular code is responsible for it you don't have to go there and fix that particular code but you should know that okay that code might cause some problem in future that's why the entire software is not working so that's your responsibility whereas system administrator doesn't have to worry about any coding related part the system administrator should always focus on making sure one software works fine that is if there is one cloud server and there is some database in it the system administrator's responsibility is the database is always up and running and it's available for any kind of software to get used by so in this particular field system administrator will make sure that all the software and all the operating system works fine whereas devops engineer will make sure whatever the website or app which that company is building works fine for example maybe thousand users will visit one website and that website is not working there are so many probability maybe the software code is not fine or maybe some kind of uh, backend service is not working fine whatever the case might be if it is fault in certain component for example database then system administrator will make sure that that database will come online and will work properly whereas if thousand people are using the application and the server resources and all everything is available easily but still software is not handling that time devops engineer will create architecture so that the server will keep increasing 
its size until the user load is present and when the user start to leave that particular website after completing whatever they came to do in the website then the software resource should decrease that's the responsibility of devops so which is interesting in these two things you have to figure out that particular thing for yourself because some people might be like okay if database is failing i'll just go there and uh, restart it maybe and uh, it is going to work fine some people might think like okay that is interesting and some people might think like okay there is high load and uh, now i should focus on increasing that load whenever the user count increases on the website and when that particular load decreases i should make sure the whatever the resource which is being used by that website decreases in its size because it is going to cost the money right for the organization so if that's what is interesting you then devops is better because you're going to write whole lot of infrastructure related codes which is going to make sure to do all these things which i mentioned just now that is increasing the resource size and decreasing it so if that's what is interesting you then obviously devops is something for you so if you are able to decide this thing then absolutely fine go ahead and uh, choose your field but still if you are still confusing between both of them then it's okay if you try both of them for example getting some kind of system administrative role in one organization is always going to count for your devops related role also let's just say that you are going to work in some organization for two years as a system administrator then you want to switch into devops related role then whatever the experience which you learned in these two years uh, is always going to count for that particular role uh, and uh, most companies consider it also so that's why it's always preferred uh, if you are still confused uh, to get into system administrator role uh, and uh, then switch to devops uh, after you get certain practice uh, in uh, real world related projects so wishing you luck that's it for this video guys and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, see you in the next video bye bye